We were orbiting the canyon and Rose saw through binoculars some horses on the other side of Shady Grove. Rose said there were two horses that were fighting, so I landed the command module and proceeded to fly the drone through Shady Grove. I could see them off in the distance. It's midsummer and there's no water in the creek, but there's lots of trees and shade and that's where the horses come. Just to hang out and chill with their horse friends and family. So here's that group of horses that Roses saw through the binoculars. And the fight is over, but the horse down there on the left, he's still alert. He's sniffing the air and, and uh, just doing what he has to do to protect his family there. Speaking of family, look, there's a little baby foal there. Looks like an early spring. So that guy down there, he's sniffing the air and just making sure everything's okay. And again, I'm taking my time, just moving on up there and just look at these wonderful horses. Look at that baby. <laughs> now that's a good looking family right there. Look at that. At an early age, they need to learn how to navigate rocks and stuff like that. It's not like it's bowling green or anything, rolling hills with grass. In northern Nevada, this is what they, this is how they live. But they get around. Now look at this. Giving that little baby some love and look at that. <laughs> well, Mom, I don't want to look at that. Now check this out. We're gonna take a look down at that other band of horses that Rose said where the trouble was happening. Right there. Excuse me, can I have your attention? Yeah, can I have your attention? Come on over here, all of you. Now I want you guys to guess who the leader is here. All right, and put it in the comments who you think the leader is. And that black horse there, that was the one that was fighting with that other group. So they're kind of troublemakers here. Ah, and look who steps out in front. Wouldn't you know it. That's a good looking horse right there. Oh, and look behind, look up on the top. There's two babies up there. Cool. Excuse me, step forward, please. Yeah. What's up? It's a good looking horse. They're all good looking horses. Yeah, that one there, that black one, he's a troublemaker. Got to watch out for him. But look here. Rose says that it might be twins, but I don't know. It looks like an age difference there, like a, an early spring and a late spring foal. 
but look at the parents up at the top there. They're up at the top because they're protecting what's going on here. Uh, there's That's a blind spot looking over that ridge, so they kind of just hang out up at, up at the top and watch what's going on and, and let their babies have a rest, and they still got quite a ways to go, so. It's amazing how, how far they travel in a day, back and forth and back and forth. And, but luckily they're wild and, and wild and free. Look how pretty that is. And that guy in the back, he's kind of hanging out. And... All right, it's time to move on. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, there's some place they need to be, so they're kind of just scooting along here and... And luckily you're buckled in and you get to ride along. It's pretty cool, huh? Now their destination is the high ground here. And above that ridge, that's where you're gonna find this. It's a great man-made pond that was made for diversionary purposes so that these horses can have a drink. So that's where they're headed. So they do this every day. Probably in the morning, they'll be up at the pond and then they head down into the canyon in the shady grove to hang out. Since there's no water down there, they got to get back up to the, the watering pond. So that's where they're headed now. So they journey quite far. It's pretty amazing. And that's where they're headed. They're headed home. As always, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Please like and subscribe and share with all your horse loving friends. And we gotta go, so until next time, adios.